this is a session that was very important to me because I didn't know I was going to do all this. You know, this is like a special edition of Selection Radio, London sessions, UK sessions. And it was just important for me to have people, artists that I believe in, who I, I feel that are like not just in present or not just next up, but who I think are really representing that sound, you know, UK and worldwide. And I really, man, ever since I discovered you guys, I have literally shared your music with everybody I could think of. You know, all the music heads, I'm always posting. Y'all, I don't know who runs the IG. Okay. I, I know you always see me posting like little snippets of songs that you guys do just to kind of, you know, you got to constantly remind people. But we got children of the Zeus in the building. All right. What's, what's up? Yo, right. thank you for having us, man. Of course, yeah. man. Children of Zeus representing manchester uk yeah all right we got connie con we got we got tyler what up bro <laughs> yeah, yeah yo man, in the got, flesh yeah, yeah man, finally, man. finally in it <laughs> finally yo, man from the digital world to the real world yeah um yeah thanks up uh, thank you for coming through what's good how y'all feeling yo we're good man just we just celebrated a year this week of our album dropping man yeah, and we're fun. still here like pushing it we kind of like we didn't know it was even going to be a week or a month but we're like a year People still talking about it. It's weird, man. Travel light. Yeah, yeah man. Travel yeah. light. And, yeah. and it's just amazing to see where the music has taken you and, and where you have been able to tour. You guys have been yeah. everywhere. Nah, it's been crazy, man. I think we, we, we're mad fortunate and we never we never expected any of this. We just kind of, let's put some music out and just, just let the people see, you know, see if the people like it. And it's just been like a, a snowball effect, man. It's just yeah. took us around the world. Like this year alone, we've pretty much been everywhere you know yeah. apart from the states <laughs> yeah but we gotta make we, we talked about that, that. <laughs> yeah. get, like, yo, if y'all need a letter a work visa from us yo, <laughs> yeah. you know we what I'm saying I, I, yo, <laughs> I'll <laughs> definitely write that letter of recommendation gladly nah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying so we gotta get you out to the states cause y'all got fans back there but this is the, the crazy thing about it is like we're both hip hop heads we like soul music and for us, like coming from Manchester, it was always hard to even get heard in London. Back in the day, it was hard for even London to accept us. We never dreamed anyone in America would listen to it. We can't sell soul and hip hop music back to America usually from this country. Do you know what I mean? It's not often. You feel it, that way? Oh, definitely. Like, less soul now. I don't know. I think soul to soul and, and brand new heavies and stuff would yeah, probably. Flow it true. There's, there's, I think, there's I think so much soul that came out. I of... think when it's right here, when we do it right, I think yeah, it, it well, kind y'all of, do it right. It's, 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 it, it stands out, it's different because yeah. I think what happens a lot of the time is people try and probably copy what's happening in the yeah. States. So we obviously, we're heavily influenced by that. Um, we just who, came. who would you describe as your main like top three, top five influences overall? <sighs> wow, that's so different. I mean, it's like you got, I feel like I hear like some D'Angelo, some, some, some Dilla, yep, you definitely. know. Sometimes I even hear some Raphael Sadiq in, in yeah, you, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm not even trying to uh, compare artists. It's just more of the influence of what you guys came up to. Because yeah. you guys are, are music heads yeah, too. Yeah, y'all yeah. dig for music and y'all understand the sound sonically, yeah. you know? So you guys mesh well, really, you know, really well because, you know, you on the lyrical like flow yeah. tip and just like, just you spin your rhymes and, and, and your mind yeah. and then you singing, it's like a perfect balance. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, you got the deep hip hop heads and then you got like, you bringing in the ladies as well on top of it with, mm-hmm. with the sultry voice. And, I try, I try. Yeah, and I just think, <laughs> and then and then y'all got the, so you got the hip hop, the neo soul, and then you got the reggae joints. Yeah, well, I was going to say, our, our take on, obviously, our American influences comes via pirate radio stations when we were growing up. Yeah. Which also, because there's a big Caribbean like culture out here and yeah what's, people, what's both of your like roots your parents like where they're from Caribbean but yeah, yeah. I'm half, my, my mum's from Barbados my dad's from England ah, and his, I'm half Jamaican so so like reggae music exactly. dub plays dub yeah. all that was bass, heavily influenced the it bass also, it also, yeah yeah I would love to hear it like uh just the in, like just the inspirations of, of records that you know you guys will listen to because yeah. you guys have have it in you yeah and it's man. hard to you can't replicate that nah it's crazy because we, we literally in in manchester uh, we only had at any given time maybe two pirate radio stations so we was literally listening to the same exact playlist you know what i mean from growing up from so from being young children to growing up to become men we'd listen to the same playlist all them years so i think that's probably what made us gel even more it's like we kind of like 
almost identical in our taste and, and the stuff we grew up on. You know? Amazing. Yeah, and I know that both of you originally had your own separate groups coming up. But yeah. You guys knew each other for a cool minute since what, like 2000, like early, mid 2000s? Yeah, we 2000s. Met, we met in Paris. Three, four. He lives like 10 minutes away from me. And we, <laughs> yeah. we both had a show in Paris and we met in Paris came back he played me on my hardest his hardest hip-hop beats <laughs> i sat there scooping y'all producing too we yeah, produce yeah, the majority of the stuff that I you hear as well. that. yeah full, oh. full package yeah, let's man. actually get into some music right now is there a song i mean we got a whole you guys have a nice discography you know is there any record that comes to mind that you know we want to get into whether it's from the first album or whether it's from even some i think i think Probably still standing is always a great place to start with George and Azus. I think that was the first thing where we both sat down and decided, you know what, let's give the world this because this there don't seem to be a lot of this at the moment. Yeah. So let's 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 you know let's give him this and see what happens. And that was basically the, the beginning of it all. You know? All right, still standing. Yeah, Children well. of Zeus in the building. Beast One selection. Long overdue. Keep it locked. Nothing like that Dilla sound, man. No. Rest in peace. The closest I could get to Dilla is like, you know, meeting. I just, well, I've, I've met Madly before. We've connected, but like just me and him reconnected. And it just, just to know that he was in the presence and that yeah. they worked together and yeah, to hear those yeah, stories. Yeah. And they never even used to work. That's what's tight about you guys is like, I know the last album, you know, it's like you guys were actually working together yeah, yeah, on yeah. writing. Um, and when you think about Mad Lib and, and Dilla, when they made J Lib, they, they never were in the same room. Wow. That's just the way they are. That's like they would work in different rooms and just yeah. pass over. Same thing with Doom. Mm. Doom and, uh, and Mad Lib, they, they would never record in the same room wow. or make beats together or like cut cut up like nah, that's vocals. crazy man. they would do that's just yeah it's really we interesting should, right we should do that man <laughs> <laughs> for the next one <laughs> to me, yo i'm gonna airdrop you this stand <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, I'm down. but yo let's talk about um you know because the whole purpose of, of the show outside of just highlighting you is you know we're really focusing on just the 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 i don't even know how to say it just there's so much love and, and and, and strong music you know there's so much value in the UK sound right now mm. it's the best way I could describe them thinking off the top of my head is that there's so much talent coming out of the UK specifically you guys are representing Manchester yeah. who, are, who are some artists or like what how do you describe the music scene going on in Manchester right now um, um, back one. well up until quite recently Manchester was more known for its bass music drum and bass grime 140 stuff and then quite recently, I mean, when we started out, there was just no one really making soulful music and putting it outside of Manchester. And all these kids came along, 19, 20 year olds, and they were all making neo soul and soulful stuff. And they're, I don't think they really were influenced by the same stuff as us, because they're a lot younger, but they ended up making very similar stuff. So now we've got all these guys making really beautiful, soulful stuff, really struggling to be heard, but like, there's a lot of soul in Manchester. There's, there's a strong scene going out there right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely, man. I think like even with um, IMDDB as well, yes. doing what she did, she kind of kept with the soul sound, even though she put it on like some more trappy kind of sounding beats and stuff, but still kept that jazzy feel and, and opened up doors again, which is obviously what we're trying to do as Have well. Have you had a chance to connect with her? Yeah, man, that's that's sister, you know, I like that's that's family, man. Um, we haven't recorded anything officially to put yeah, out yet, but, but you both like just it's, it's an organic thing. When it happens, it happens. Either way, man. I love that. Love that girl. I, I you know? got so much love for her, and I'm happy for all her success. And, yeah. And uh, there's also a crew out there, Mason Collective. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Out there doing making waves on the yeah. produce on the production and DJ side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's another crew called Trap House. But I'm not sure if they're based in Birmingham yeah, don't or think it's not there's a guy named uh, Sham Steele. Okay. And uh, I just, overall, like I said, the UK is just uh, banging. Is bubbling, man. You know and every other day there's something new. Like I, every time I, I go online, I see something that I haven't seen before, a new talented kid, and I find out they're from the UK. Yeah. It's just like, jeez. Yeah. It's if there's anybody time. that you guys are working with or that you feel needs a voice, whether it's you know, on the production side or on a vocalist side, please shoot them my way because that's the whole point of what we do here is just, yeah. you know, play it, spread the word and and just get that, get those names out, you, you know, get, check, get that. Check this out. guy, man. Yeah. Who? KSR, he's KS, called. KS, oh, he's, he's on the, I've seen his name yeah, on the album. Man. You, you, yeah, you're going to find, know how to find his name because he spells it weird with spaces and box brackets. <laughs> but if you can find KSR, 
that guy's the future of soul music in this yeah. country for us, man. Amazing. Yeah. So we talked about earlier how, you know, it's been a year since the album has been out. How, how does it feel when you guys are on the road and you guys are performing music that's a couple years old or a year old and you're, you know, do you get to a point to where, because I'm sure the music you're recording at the moment or along the way, you know, that's unreleased yeah. is heat. So as an artist, how do you, you know, when you know you got this heat mm. and you don't know when it's going to come out, yeah. you know, does that ever get repetitive for you guys or like the energy in terms of the music and how does that feel? I, personally, I think um, going through so long of kind of being a struggling artist and just trying to win crowds over all the time, um, just having people that know your music is refreshing, man. So like, it's more of a, a gratitude thing. Like, I'm just grateful that there's people out there that love it enough to sing it back to me. So um, I'm always excited to obviously drop new stuff, but you know, I, I can't say I really get bored. I, I suppose we kind of do before the gig, but as soon as you get on the stage and you feel that like energy, it's like, how could I ever get bored of this, you know? And for you? I'm the same way, man. I it, we've tried to introduce stuff that isn't so familiar at times and the feeling of people not you know people like to like familiarity in it so like if something's familiar they get a, there's a bit more of a reaction so although I might, personally might like performing stuff the crowd doesn't know so well the ones they do know like they go hard yeah and, and plus like for us a lot of places we go is the first time we've played as children of Zeus yeah so for instance we went to South Africa quite recently no idea what it was going to be like if anyone would turn up so when you, songs and people are singing back in a different country you don't even know if people know it and they're all singing it's like yo there's no real feeling like that do you know what I mean like that's a pretty crazy feeling for us man yeah so, nah I appreciate that I yeah. mean can't wait to hear you in the states and Same way. shout out to your label as well you know First Word yeah, Records man, man and, and just the fact that I love how you guys are, are focused on the vinyl side it's so yeah. important you know not just as a as a true DJ, but like people like to collect that and feel that physical. Yeah. And we're, we're so stuck in a digital world where, you know, you could put out, there can be 10 projects that come out today yeah, yeah. and literally everyone has access to it mm. and goes through 10 albums in literally a day or a weekend. Yeah. And then, and then it could either be forgotten or then they're hitting you up. Be like, yo, when's the next album coming out? Yeah, I was like, yo, yeah, yeah. we just spent our last two years writing. <laughs> nah, it's crazy. Real, Does that ever yeah. frustrate you or like yeah. that tough? That, you know How what? do you deal with that? The, the crazy thing is, which I shouldn't say, man, but I pretty much reply to every message we get. Yeah. <laughs> don't, if you're listening, don't think that means send me a message. But people send me the cra like the entitlement of messages that we get is yeah. crazy because people just like, Something will come out, I was like, yo, I'm ready for the next one. And I was like, bro, the album's just come out. Take that in for a little piece and yeah. let us work on some new stuff. Yeah. I just don't think people realize the, 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 the work, work that goes the behind work, in man. the time and the energy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And some of these songs are really personal. So it's like, yeah. you know, you gotta like really sit on it and take some time before you dive into the next thing. You might have yeah, a bunch man. of ideas. How is it when you guys are uh, producing together? You know, like, what's your process? Um, I think when we produce together, it's either a, it's either a process that isn't going anywhere, or it's something that is perfect. So okay. it's like I love. I'm more of a on my own kind of person. Yeah. I'm headphones on, but so together it's like I've got ideas, he's got ideas. Unless the ideas are meeting in the middle, then it could be a long day. Yeah. But when they meet, it's like we both hundred percent like yes. You know what I mean? It's like. It doesn't matter what anybody else says in the whole wide world. If me and him agree that this is the this is this the, is the one, one, you just know and it's a feeling. It, you know what I mean? It's a feeling inside, yeah. right? Wow, that's that's beautiful. And so it's, and it's a fight worth you. having. If so, yeah. Should I say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like working with him, man. I enjoyed the process of the last album. It was, it was a new process. Lost the egos. Even the writing process, we lost the ego because it was a lot of both of us writing for each other. Both of us sat down making beats and anything you hear out that comes out it's, it's gone through the process of me going I like it and him saying he likes it and no one else can say anything about it you know of what course. I mean so it's if I don't like it and he likes it you probably won't hear it and yeah, likewise yeah. you know what I mean so <laughs> I can hear it well, first of all the me. consistency in your guys' music and your album I can hear it you know through the production mm. and now it makes sense because I wasn't sure if there was anyone else on the on the production you know credits list or anything but just to hear how you guys are also behind the beats are there any producers out there that you uh, you guys are open or, or like we, want like a hit list of a few guys you want to or, or women that you want to we're all for working with 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 anyone that's that's dope really and yeah. any you know, anyone that we vibe with it's all about us catching a vibe with someone first you know first like obviously we got k15 
who did, did yeah, something on the last out. album. Um, we've also got Beat Butcher and um, Juggernaut, who's a great rapper from the UK as well. So, this is our uh, chance though, to, to reach out to some yeah, people. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 right. okay, let's go, let's I'm, go. All right, <laughs> Madlib, Pete Rock. Shout out Madlib. Pete, Pete Rock. Rock. Alchemist. Alchemist. Jeez. Um, Raphael Sadiq, man. Hell Woo. yeah. Them type I, of vibes, man, do you know what I mean? I think it's just literally them hearing the music and it's a rap. You know? That's that's the, half the half the battle in it, just yeah. getting it to people. Man. Yeah, of course, and just them becoming a fan. If they hear you guys, are I don't know anyone who doesn't like you guys. You know, have you guys connected with Budgie? Sort of, man. Okay. Like not not as far as making music, but we like okay. you know we. I'm really cool with Budgie. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that he his really beats knows. are crazy, man. He's cool with Alchemist. Mm, exactly. He's still cool with like he's cool with everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's cool with Otis. He's cool with like all the rappers. So that 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 might be somebody. He'd, he'd be a good guy to work. Like it's a very yeah. And, you know what I love? I love producers who aren't selfish mm. and like don't mind plugging in other artists or producers into sessions like yo Close, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know some people try to keep all the, the credits for themselves mm. but someone who opened like yo you gotta hear this let yeah, me bring yeah, them yeah, in yeah. you know so let's get into one more song I never and then, uh, met one girl that can hold me down yes I'm a player and a play around so if it's love you're looking for then I'm sorry but I can't stop pimping I don't know how I'm far too young to settle down right now Selection Radio Beats 1, we have Children of Zeus, and you just heard the story so far. Man, once again, I'm so happy that you guys are here. Like, I can't stop saying that. The whole squad is here, and everyone, like, people pulled up just to see you guys. I just want to let you guys know that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it's, lot, like, honestly, we're gas, man. I can't <laughs> lie. Like, this is a thing when we was first started out that was, like, a, a goal, man. Like, seriously. For real? Like, bro, yeah. being a million percent. That's like, love. That's yeah. so crazy, you know, because you don't know that until we hear we, we share stories with yeah, each other. Yeah. Everyone's kind of like, you know, appreciating from afar. Mm. But sometimes you got to be face to face to kind of, you know, yeah. you know, realize that. And and like I said, I I barely found I, I'm not even going to front. I barely found out about you guys like maybe 14 months ago. Okay. You know what I mean? So I missed the early sesh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I missed yeah. that early story. Most people did. My but, most did. You know? But when I did, oh my goodness. And, you know, and, and shout out to my homie Benji from, from Tokyo. Yeah. Um, I remember I started seeing people share the album, but I, you know sometimes you gotta just listen. Mm -hmm. And so were you, you gotta, confused? Gotta find that did, time. did you see the artwork and not think it would sound like what it looked like? Honestly, yes. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I didn't know Everyone what it would sound like. Yeah. But but that's the beauty of it is like yeah. you can't really judge a book by its cover. Awesome. Once you hit play, it was like wow. Yeah. Like where have I been? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and I'm pretty pretty early on things. So yeah. when I but when, but once I get locked in, it's like there's no stopping. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and then I felt I feel like I made up for it because I went hard. I think I played like half half. The, <laughs> you know, because I think I played like half the album as soon as I found it. You know, luckily it was the timing of it was right when it came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I mean, shoot, I, I already know you guys are, are making heat. What is it about the UK? You know, like I've been asking this to all my friends. When we come out here, the energy of the people, not just in London, but UK as a whole, and I know you guys have done UK tours, why is it that the people here are just so embedded into the music and they're able to express themselves so strongly? You know what, I, 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 probably, I really couldn't answer that. Um, I, I feel it the same way. And uh, even in the UK, it's different from city to city. It's not necessarily the same. I can imagine it, it just all feels like it's everyone's on it. But even in, like, you go further up north and people are even more excited to really? see stuff and more... I like, think because they're more starved of it. Like, obviously, in London... Because people, everyone comes yeah, to London. Maybe that's everyone it. comes to London. What, what are, yeah. like, the t they go, they go to, to London, they go to... Birmingham. What, Man yeah, Birmingham, Birmingham Man Manchester. 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 And then if you're in Scotland, you might get lucky if you're... Glasgow. Yeah, <laughs> Glasgow or, like, Edinburgh show. Yeah. But, those, like, North East, I don't think they get as much stuff so yeah. like when you go and do shows there people go crazy yeah because nice. it might be the, the, the one time they go out that month to go and see some live that's music true. that they like in it you know what I mean? they don't know the next time they're gonna see you exactly, yeah. Yeah. I love that man yeah well it's special out here and I've, we've been to a lot of places and this is a very special place and I keep telling that and I know you guys haven't been to the states nah, to man. play but I'm telling you there's, this is there's nothing like the UK and the, the music culture is special so sometimes I feel like it takes someone internationally to say that yeah. you know for you guys to realize what you guys have of course. Yeah. you know what I'm saying because people would just react quicker and they react longer mm -hmm. you know there's a nice little balance of that and there's a nice range of, of, of music um, I know you guys have some some music as well on your band camp you know so you guys yeah. want to plug that in um, yeah if you just search for Children of Zeus on band camp um, we have like most of our stuff comes out on vinyl yeah. we've also got cassettes 
We also got CDs for people that still play CDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you can you can also there's also a few like free downloads on there. Yeah, there's a lot of freebies there. Do Christmas giveaways and Valentine's giveaways, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we've got, got like a whole heat. free album on there. So if you've not heard the it, winter tape. Yeah, the yeah, winter, winter tape shit. is on there for Yo, free. Track. Yo, it's too much heat. On there. <laughs> <laughs> Just go listen, go listen. You know, and and pay attention from here on out. These guys are are it I really believe in you guys I hope we can all really work together on some shows we got, it, we got Andres you know who handles worldwide bookings and let's try to figure out how to get you guys on the next selection event and I think people are waiting for that yeah man, yeah, man. bro a million percent yeah all right, so yo, thank you guys for yo, pulling God up. Bless you, my I brother. appreciate you nah, for real. You, man. Really good to meet you all yeah, as well, likewise, man. Like, man. For real. Thank you, man. Yes, and we're about to get into your live set right now, all right? We're looking forward to it. Yeah, man. And uh, for those out there listening, keep it locked. Children of Zeus, Beast One Selection. Peace.